Do I truly know who I am before I am in Christ as one who is in Christ? And we said, do you know who you're dealing with? If it's important to know who you are, and we noted that in order to know who you are, you better know who you are not. As John the Baptist said, listen, I'm not the Christ. I'm nobody's savior. I'm not the prophet. I know who I am. You better know who you're not. And then we said, you better know who you're dealing with. Now, that can sound a little, let's say, ambiguous, a little out there. Let me read to you an article that was in our newspaper this week, just a small clipping. And it points to the fact that you better know who you're dealing with. Because oftentimes, something can look and sound so close and be eternally off. And whether it's about you putting your trust and faith in something that is wrong, or in recognizing somebody that may think they're safe actually needs your help, it's important to know who you're dealing with. Case in point, our Bay Times, from the 15th of January this week, it says, Jehovah's Witnesses attend assembly in Centerville, a town just up the street, A two-day circuit assembly of Jehovah's Witnesses was held. Families from ten congregations on the Delmarva Peninsula gathered for the Faith Strengthening Program. The theme of the program was God's Word is Beneficial for Teaching. And all God's people would say, Amen Amen to that. Thank you, David. It goes on to say that their entire focus through their gathering was built on trusting 2 Timothy 3.16, something that I preach regularly. Through talks, demonstrations, and interviews, it was shown how the Bible benefits people physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And again, all God's people would say, amen. Amen. All assembled were encouraged to participate fully in the Bible-based command to preach the good news of God's kingdom, as well as the encouragement to maintain a spiritual outlook despite the world's moral condition. The article ends saying that similar programs are held around the world, and all such programs, here's the closing note, are open to the public, and don't worry, no money is accepted or taken. Now, that's biblically referenced, says much of what you and I would say, and if that's all you heard, you would say, Amen. But I want you to know that that group denies Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. It is important that you know who you are, And it is eternally important that you know who you are dealing with. And friends, one of the reasons why we teach and preach the Bible and we grow disciples through God's word by his grace and for his glory is because you need to understand the fine lines of distinction. They are eternal fine lines.